What's up guys, Gage Bayer here. we're gonna be talking about Judgment Scales, a new trap card being released in Clash of Rebellion that just got released in the OCG. Judgment Scales, it's a normal trap card, you can only activate one Judgment Scales per turn. If there are more cards on your opponent's side of the field than you have on your field and in your hand combined, draw cards from your deck equal to the difference. Judgment Scales is a very interesting card being released from this set, definitely not taking the course of the other Solemn cards that we've had before. It's definitely something different, and it does it okay. Now, most ideal decks to activate this against is decks that completely expel their entire hand on the field, whether it be a deck that sets all of their back row or a deck that just makes a big board. You want a deck that pretty much will have no hand or maybe one card in hand throughout the entire game. And ideally, you want to be the player that's at a disadvantage. That's why you're probably activating this card. Something very interesting and also kind of awkward about the card is that it only reads what's on your opponent's field. It doesn't matter what they have in their hand. So if they have three cards in hand and two cards on the field and you have five cards on the field, I'm sorry, you're not drawing anything. But at the same time, if your opponent has an entire massive board on the field and you have maybe two cards on board, there's a few cards in hand, they're gonna be drawing quite a bit. But this card alone kind of has the same vibe as Exiton Knight, if you ask me, with the whole reading cards in hand and on the field, and I don't think it's even that good. The game is mostly aggressive right now, which is beside the point. We have decks like Satellar Knights and decks that set quite a few, and just pretty much throw their whole hand on the board and say, get around this. But on the other hand, we kind of have a card that only reads the field, whereas Exiton Knight will read the field and hand. And if you ask me, I'm normally Exitoning when my opponent has maybe a one card difference from me. It's nothing really major. Normally it's just that small sliver amount where my opponent had maybe a one card advantage on me and I just completely screwed up their board with an Exiton Knight because of that one card difference. But looking at this card, a one card difference is practically nothing. You're playing a Jar of Greed that has way too many restrictions. And I get that that's at its worst point that it's a jar of greed but even at its best point ideally when you're drawing into this when you have no board no hand at all and you just set it upon a for a board that has like way too many cards on it you're wasting an entire turn to potentially plus maybe okay I guess seven but still you give your opponent an entire turn of opportunity for a dead draw that you just drew. Saying that, I also realize that you're not gonna always have an open board, completely open board with just this card. You're gonna have a few cards on board, yes, but you're not gonna be plussing as much as most people will think. You have to be significantly down in advantage to actually get a whole bunch of value off this card, which is ideally what you want to do. You don't exactly want to draw one to maybe two cards off of it. You're hoping to draw that three or four cards, but that's not really realistic. Like I said before, this card's only reading the board of your opponent's side. It's reading your hand and your board. And that's really, really awkward when you're trying to get a whole bunch of advantage out. And in a game where advantage is absolutely everything, if you're relying on dwindling your own advantage to actually get some value off of this card, you're probably not really winning the duel at that point. Nevertheless, the design of this card's really cool. I like it a lot, and I actually think it's gonna see some competitive play. I think somebody's gonna find a way to break it. But I, at the moment, I don't really see it. ARG stands for D's NUTS! HA! GAME! And it also conveniently stands for Alter Reality Games. If you guys want to buy or sell product, if you want to read articles from the top is to top of players, and if you want to attend high-level events like ARG Richmond this weekend, which I'll see hopefully most of you guys there, AlterRealityGames.com is your place to go check out. Be sure to like our Facebook fan page and subscribe to our Twitch stream if you haven't already. But as always, I thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will catch you guys next time. Gage from ARG, signing out. Ciao!